How's it going everyone? Bisco Rebellion, and this is going to be a very short video. I'm not going to talk much, but somebody asked me what are my thoughts on the new Dawn of Justice trailer, and I decided why not just make a video instead of just doing a comment response on that person. So, yeah, here are my thoughts on the new Dawn of Justice trailer, which I refuse to call it Batman v Superman. I've already explained why that title is so stupid, so I will not say it in here. Honestly, I am not excited for this movie. I mean, the trailer hasn't done anything for me. I'm not hyped. I'm not even overjoyed that this movie is even a thing. Then again, I mentioned before that I am not interested in this movie, and I will probably not go see it, mostly because of the way it's marketed. I'll explain that later on. But the trailer itself is fairly enjoyable. However, it's not much. I've mentioned this before to a friend of mine, but this trailer is just an extended teaser. Remember, there's a difference, or at least in my opinion, I think there's a difference between a teaser and a trailer. A teaser is more like a snippet. They're giving you small little pieces of an idea of what this movie is about, while the trailer itself is showing you what this movie is about, if you get what I mean. It's kind of like, if I wanted to show you a teaser of a comic, I would show you one picture, and that's pretty much it. That is a teaser. While a trailer, or more like, I don't know how the way how they say, say it in comics, but bear with me here. For a teaser, I would only show you one picture of maybe a panel. Not even a page, just a panel. While a trailer would probably showcase a couple of pages to give you an idea of what this comic book issue is about. If you get what I mean, the same goes with movies. And they have done that a lot over the years, but it's funny because when you search up for this teaser, all you see is Batman v Superman official teaser. Oh no, not official teaser, official trailer, or official teaser trailer. It's not a trailer, it's just an extended teaser. And the reason why I call it an extended teaser is because there's not much shown here. Bear with me here. All they showed in here is... Oh, there is controversy over the idea of Superman. Some people think of him as a godly figure, while others think of him as the devil. And that's probably mostly because of what he has done to Metropolis, let's be honest. That shit looked like a fucking barren wasteland. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to just look at the ending of Man of Steel and you'll know what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway... After that, I think they shown a statue being built of Superman while somebody did a graffiti on his chest saying false god. Oh, people think of him as a god. Like, that hasn't been done before. But honestly, I don't like the idea that he is shown as a god. I never did. Nor did I like all the god-Jesus symbolism that happened in Man of Steel. But I guess they're going to continue with that. So at least there's some consistency there. I don't mind that. It's just I don't like the idea. So whatever. Then we, sh then we are shown a pissed off Batman, who I believe is pissed off directly at Superman for whatever reason. They have yet to show that. We also saw some snippets of the Batmobile, and I also think it's the Batplane. I'm not entirely sure about that. There was a scene where they showed both the vehicles, the Batplane and the Batmobile, attacking a group of, I don't know, group of people, I guess? And that's pretty much it. And then we shown we are shown Ben Affleck within the bat suit, like we've seen Batman fully. But honestly, I really don't care. It's whatever to me. And then at the end, we see Batman and Superman confront each other, and that's pretty much it. Also, Ben Affleck or Batman specifically throws in a line saying, "Do you bleed? Because you will." That that that's pretty much it. Ooh, so threatening. I'm pretty sure that's not the exact lines that he's, he mentioned, but that's genuine, generally what he's trying to say. Do you bleed, Superman? Because you will. Ooh, what are you going to do? Throw green kryptonite like you always do? Holy shit. Fight's over. <laughs> uh, whatever. I I'm sorry if I sound like a fanboy, but honestly, I don't like this whole Batman can beat Superman whenever he wants. No, he can't. No, he can't. You and I, everyone knows this. Because let's be honest, without the without that freaking kryptonite, he would get stomped. But whatever, whatever. Logic aside, since Bat Logic wins every single argument, 
like I said before in the beginning of this video, I am not interested in this trailer. They barely showed anything, and <laughs> I don't see the hype. I truly do not see the hype. I mean, if you look anywhere around the internet, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, well, then I got out of use Facebook, but it, for, for those of you who do use Facebook, check in there. Go to any video that is trying to break down what is going on in this trailer. Everyone's hype. I don't, I honestly do not see the hype. And you know what's even more funny about this trailer? Who's the main bad guy here? I mean, sure, Lex Luthor is going to be in here, which is obvious maybe he is the actual bad guy. But there is no clear sign that he is the bad guy. But then again, they barely showed anything. So I'll give them that. But I kind of expected them, with the first trailer, to show at least the bad guy. Because a lot of movies, especially if they are doing movies of comic books, they've shown bad guys in the first trailer. We automatically know who are the good guys and who are the bad guys. But in this case, we don't. Going back to Man of Steel, in the first trailer, we don't know who the bad guy is if you watch that first trailer. In fact, if they, the funny thing about that trailer is if they didn't show Superman flying nor his symbol, we would not have known that this was a movie about Superman just by looking at it. No fear. And in this one, in Dawn of Justice, we have yet to know about the bad guy. On top of that, I believe it's been rumored, but I think this is legitimately true, well, actually, yeah, it is legitimately true that Wonder Woman was going to be in this movie, except maybe a cameo or something. I kind of expected, you know, to her show up at the end, kind of like in that one Age of Ultron trailer where they showed Vision at the very end of that trailer. I kind of expected something like that, but we didn't get it. I'm not disappointed. Well, actually, yes, I am a bit disappointed, but... That doesn't change my overall thought about this trailer. It's nothing special, really. Guys, wait for the second one. Because I can guarantee you that the second one is going to be far, far superior than the first one.